What's up, my rider? Straighten out my crooked ass glasses. These got some age on them. They still good. What is these? I forgot. I had these for a while. It's some high end time. I gotta get some new joints. Well, I got some new joints. I'm gonna start wearing my new new ones. But anyway, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, my riders, man? D Dub back on it. Back on this live again. Started vlogging too. That new vlog will be uh, put up, man. It's just me, man, doing what I'm doing. Uh, which is the things I do to keep the brain and um, keep it pushing forward. So, guys, this is my live. Basically, on my live, if it's your first time tuning in, I just talk about what's the hottest car, uh, make it a topic every week to talk about. And there's so many cars to talk about, so pretty much every week I got something new and fresh to talk about. Or sometimes on my lives, we just talk about whatever, whatever is in current and whatever is trending in the car culture or, or surrounding the car culture. Excuse me, man. I, you ever had something in your, your, your foot that you pretty much know is there, but it's deep in your skin? I think I got something like that in my heel. I'm going to soak my feet today, too, and make sure I, I get that taken care of. Because you need your feet to be healthy. Guys, we got a cool topic today, as you see on the thumbnail. We're talking about the 2022 Cadillac Escalade luxury, all right, luxury, four-wheel drive, four-door features and specs. It's a beaut. Yeah, it's a beaut. Um, All-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. Uh, this is it. Uh, I think it's a badass as far as American uh, luxury trucks, this thing is badass. So, there you go. That's the 2022 Cadillac Escalade joint, and it's nasty. Uh, we're going to be talking about the specs, pricing, whatever they have on this bad boy. Let's get right on into it. Dive right on in that thing. All right. Starting price for this bad boy is $80,990. Taxes and fees, you know, you close to the 90 range. This thing is fully spec'd out, by the way. This is fully spec'd out, and this is their sport one, okay? Engine for this is the L67. <clears throat> it's a V8. This bad boy is powered by a 6.2 liter uh, V8. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. Big boy engine to uh, push this thing down the road. <sighs> maximum horsepower for this big boy is 420 maximum torque is 480 so many specs are not available you probably have to go get the actual book on the vehicle probably pay about a hundred and some bucks to get the actual book to break down all the components of your vehicle if you buy and invest in one of these um if it's not for public information on the internet, definitely you probably most likely just have to buy the book. So transfer case and all that, uh, nomenclatures, numbers, specs, cooling system capacity, all these things you you gearheads, intricate car guys want to know, just get the book. You know what I'm saying? That'll give you all the information on your 2022 uh, four-wheel drive Cadillac Escalade Sport. Um, that'll give you everything you want. So you want, for example, like here it's showing First gear ratio, not available. Second gear ratio, not available. Fifth, you know, these ratios, you have to get the book. Um, transfer case model, see what I'm saying? It's not available. But they do have transfer case gear ratio high is 1.00. Transfer case ratio low is not available. So they only give me transfer case gear ratio high. And it's at 1.00. I don't know. Maybe you guys know. You guys know everything. You can break that down more. Um, CO2, CO2 emissions, which I do know, uh, at 15,000 miles a year, um, and almost is 11.0. That's not bad for a big, big. It burns most of that residual and fuel pretty well. It's not bad. Um, range city highway miles, 336. And uh, 456 um, highway. 
uh, EPA fuel economy combined highway and miles per gallon, uh, 2021, 16, 2021, 14, and 19, 2021. So it's got better combined. It's went up from 16 to 19 miles per gallon uh, for that engine. Um, fuel capacity, 24 gallon. It's a big boy. You're going to spend a lot of money. Aux fuel tank capacity, wheelbase 120.9, length is 211.9, width without mirrors is 81.1, height is 76.7, son of a gun, it's tall. Um, yeah, like I say, rear door opening height, rear door opening width, all these things you got to get the, the book, ground clearance front. You know, interior seats up to um, seven. See at there. Front headroom inches forty two point three. Front leg room inches is forty four point five. So if you're six feet and taller, the kind of new Escalade Sport is big enough for you. Front hip room inches tells you that sixty one point seven. Second row headroom inches is thirty eight point nine. Second row leg room is 41.7 second row shoulder room so the shoulders 80 no 64.6 sorry i don't want to misquote 64.6 second row the second row of the uh, end cabin of the vehicle hip room the hips 61.2 third row head room inches is 38.2 so the second row is 38.9 headroom and the front headroom is 42.3. So you see the headroom decreases from the front is 42.3. Then the second row is 41.7. And then the third row is 34.9. But that's still not bad for the third row. Shoulder, third row, shoulder room is 62.7. Third row, hip row. It's 49.4. So cargo space length, floor to, floor to council, uh, cargo space area length behind first row inches. All that is in the book. That's not a bit. They're not going. But they do have cargo space area behind front row in cabin. Cubic feet is at 121.0, which is massive. Uh, you can like do like little circles inside the cabin with your feet with this thing. Like it's crazy. Um, cargo space area behind front row cubic feet, 121. Cargo cargo space area behind second second row cubic feet, 72.9. Cargo, cargo space area behind third row cubic feet is 25.5. Wow, that's cubic feet. Steering type is power. Um, rate The steering ratio, they don't have that. It's in the book. Tuning diameter radius curve on curved feet. Not sure what that means, but it's 39.7. They do give a number on that, on this bad boy. Suspension. Now we're going to get into the suspension. Uh, suspension is in, in, independent. So, honestly, independent is one of the dopest technologies for a car. Uh, or a, a SUV or uh, technology in general sense, because what that is, is independent steering. It operates and adapts to whatever road surface. So we have roads out here in Illinois, where I live at, in Northwest suburbs, that angle off like this. And you can feel it on your suspension and inside the cab of your vehicle. You're right. Your body moves with it from the, um, the G-forces, you know what I'm saying, and whatever speed you're going. And the independent steering, what that does, it gives more of a smoother ride and more of a durable ride because it's adapting on each side of the vehicle, wherever that degree angle on the road is. So, for example, the, the, the right front side of the cabin where the passenger would be at would dip down, adjust itself. At the same time, the driver's side uh, left front is adjusting itself as the right front is adjusting itself to the the the, the road degree that changed 
from flat to angle. And that's that's dope. So that's what you're paying for. Um, rear suspension type is independent, multi-link. So yeah, yeah, the rear is also independent and it's multi-link. Nasty. This is why it costs that much because they put a badass suspension on there. Um, brake type is power. Anti-light braking system as all anti-light braking system on all four wheels. You know, Cherry, I had to upgrade the brake system on Cherry. It was trash, man. Like, them cars come with trash. I ain't going to lie, Nissan, yo, with the Altimus and Maximus, you need a the Maximus is a little bit better, but they trash, too. The best thing you can do for your Nissan, your Altima, your Maximus, upgrade and go to R1 Concepts and get that real shit, man. Get that real street racing shit, man. I haven't had a failure in my R1 Concepts, R1 Concepts, tires on tarmac said, you are a go. You the truth, right? And if you ain't getting R1 Concepts out of California, you getting probably a knockoff. You better make sure it's R1 Concepts out of California, USA, man. You better make sure. And then you know you're in the right place. Because I haven't had a problem with those. Stop on a dime when it's wet, like it's super wet outside now. I'm looking out the window of my office to the adjacent to me here. And I'm going to tell you like this, man. Uh, them things, like, you can't tell it's wet. Like, they been getting pedals and all that calipers. Nothing. That bitch stopped. You know, that cross drill slotted technology and it's carbon ceramic too. So they high temperature, high cold. They resist the cold too and freezing temperatures just as well. That's why I invested in them. And I suggest you too, if you ain't already did so. I, I There's other shit out there that's dope too. But I want concepts with your boy Rockwood, man, as far as my braking system. That shit is the truth. Uh, front wheel, I'm back on the Cadillac. We're going to go wheels and tires. Front wheels, size inches. They got 22s on this bitch. Uh, they, they made, they're aluminum. The front tire size is 275, 50R. 225 SLs. Uh, the rear wheel on this big boy is 22s. Uh, they, so they put 22s all around, aluminum, of course. And the rear size of those is 27, 275, 50R, 22 SLs all the way around. So 22s all the way around, which is not a bad uh, choice. They know the culture has pushed their corporate ass to be more accepting of what's out here in the streets and on the culture. You know, it's the only thing that can keep corporations in check because the corporations get rich because they really get the information from the culture. What's hot with the newest kids, what's hot out there in the streets. And it's always been that relationship, except the culture got to always make sure it serves itself to get that check because they won't pay nobody. And they just take the information and, and service it and make billions. And then they got it from the culture and won't cut a check for nobody who created it. So. The coach are always got to make sure and assert themselves. I will. I will. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this is a bad truck. Uh, if I had this truck, 22s would come off after I wear them out, and I'd definitely go 28s in this motherfucker. I wouldn't go 30s. Uh, I don't need it to fill up the well. I just need to go do 28s, and it's still, the suspension and everything will work just fine, and it just looks so much more tremendous. I'll put 28s, 28, 28s on there. Easy. Uh, maximum toy toy maximum towing capacity pounds 7500 oh this motherfucker got some power maximum trailer weight dead weight height height uh hitch dead weight hitch pounds per pound is it maximum 5000 uh so this bitch got some attitude it's not just beautiful uh maximum torque weight dead weight height Pounds is 500. No, you get 500. Um, maximum trailer weight, dis, uh, distributing hitch pounds is 75, just like the maximum toy capacity, which would be matched up, which it should match up uh, with the trailer weight. The maximum trailer weight, weight just, just, uh, distributing hitch pound per pounds. Maximum uh, torque weight, distributing hitch pounds is 750, which is impressive. The weight of this bad boy, curb weight pounds not available. Uh, the payload capacity is 2,056 um, pounds. You can put some stuff up in here. Uh, spec payload capacity is 2,056. Gross vehicle weight rating is 7,600 pounds. So she's not light, just heavy. So this is the GVWR is what we call it in trucking. We call it the GV. 
WR. And that is basically your total weight of your vehicle. Okay. That's your gross vehicle weight rating. And each state has a, a, a gross vehicle weight rating for uh, all vehicles, POVs, and definitely SUVs as the SUVs get more technology and bigger and more powerful. Uh, they have to monitor for the road sake and they have to monitor to, to always know um, how they're going to build roads stronger and more efficiently based upon the data of, of the cars that are on the road now. So it all ties in. That's how they rate all that. And I know that because they would be on our ass all the time as drivers uh, when I drove trucks and stuff about weight. You will never bypass a weight station. If you do, that's your fucking license. Of course, I, I comply. Um, but yeah, you know, I, don't, I wasn't a perfect driver. I made mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I did. But nothing that career ended myself. Um, but I always made sure I complied majority of the time and made sure I stayed compliant. Very important, man. Because, uh, you know, big truck semis, you hauling 40,000 plus, you know, gross weight in the back of maybe water. Food, food is heavy. Water, clothes is heavy. Shoes is heavy. Um, meat. I've had whole trailers of meat. And we're talking about 53 feet of trailer. Um, you know, that shit weighs. You got pallets sometimes, pallets of that shit. Then you have the actual weight of the trailer itself. So then that's when you have to slide tandems and weigh it in. And that's a whole math calculation. That's not easy to do, especially in the wintertime. To so make sure you pack, because you're going into, you know, if I'm hauling meat from, let's say I'm coming from Chicago with, some, with a whole trailer of fucking meat and I got to head to the fucking West Coast, right? And I got to make sure that trailer that trailer fuel is filled up, right? What we call the reefer, the reefer, the reefer engine. And then you got to make sure you got fuel and you got to be all in compliance all the time. And, you know, it's just a lot, man, you know? But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to it. Electrical on this bad boy. They got a gold cranking amp. They got gold and all this shit. They don't have it all available, but... Man, this thing is badass, bro. And they got other Escalades and stuff, but I know y'all don't give a fuck about that. Kind of Escalade. Let's see what they said about it. Other um guys. And I know they have something to say. He said, yeah, they do highs, more technology than the Apple store. Luxurious cabin, swift acceleration with standard V8. The lows, this guy is saying, is downright, this is not me. This is a a, a car blogger saying this about the 2022 uh, Escalade, one we just got done specking out. Uh, he said the lows is downright expensive. Gas engines, big thirst, big thirst. He said big thirst, dude. He wrote that. Isn't high-end trims of GMC and Chevy SUVs are nearly as appealing? Okay, so he's saying basically it's nice. It's very nicely made. The verdict, he says, Cadillac flagship SUV might just be the best interpretation of modern American luxury. See, there you go. That's what he was saying. Here's his overview. As the flagship of the Cadillac brand, therefore the entirety of the General Motors portfolio, the 2022 Escalade SUV offers very high tech item and the utmost in luxury features. Luckily, he says, due to the Escalade's massive size, Cadillac could fit, fit it with a lot of those features, fine leather, genuine wood, and shiny metal trims, line the cabin, a huge curved digital display dominates the dashboard, serving up both infotainment and the driver gauge displays in a unique way. The Cadillac's exterior draws inspiration from the gorgeous Escalade's car, uh, concept car, scaled up to size double XL and adapted to the Escalade's boxy silhouette. Most Escalades were rolled with the standard 6.2 liter V8, but Cadillac also offers a more fuel uh, efficient 3.0 liter uh, turbo 
diesel inline uh, six as an option. No matter the engine, the Escalade's ride and handling are luxury car appropriate. But of course, don't expect the playfulness you'll find in the brand sedans. Huh. He kind of all over the place, really, though. What y'all think? He like it, but he probably mad because he can't afford it. Okay, what else he say? What's new for 2022? Lane keeping assist and lane departure warning are now both standard on the base luxury trend, while the premium luxury sport and platinum models now come standard with Cadillac Super Cruise semi-autonomous driving features as well as front and rear automated emergency braking. It basically breaks itself and drives itself. The new touring package adds air suspension, soft closed doors. That is expensive. That's why I said when I read the specs on the suspension with y'all, that is a very expensive suspension. Believe it. Um, soft closed doors and a nice illuminated door with project plates to premium luxury and sport models. Okay, they got the uh, ghost lights on there. They probably got ambient lighting in there too. They got that ambient light, you know what I'm saying? Pricing, which one to buy? Okay, so you want to get the different ones, all right? So all you niggas got a good job. This is the one for you. The luxury edition. This goes for $77,990. Okay, you guys that got more than just a good job. You do some other shit, right? You're an entrepreneur. This is for the entrepreneurs. Your price is for the premium luxury. It's for the 80990 Now, this is for you guys that are entrepreneurs and you invested. Well, this is the sport model. This is 88000 Premium luxury platinum. In the last in the last one, sport platinum, that's that's just you already got it, you homie. Uh the premium luxuries platinum is 102000 The sport platinum is 103000 So that's the top of the move. The sport platinum. That's the one. All right. So just know 103 bands and it's yours. And if you don't want to fuck with that, you want to fuck with the premium luxury platinum. It's right up under the sport. That's 102, dog. They'll work with you. But me, why would you get the premium luxury when you get the sport? You got all the moot. Must get the top of the motherfucking moot moot, right? Oh yeah. This is dope, man. This is a dope vehicle. Let me see what else. They truly decked out the Escalade and its best features go for the premium luxury platinum trend. It adds semi inline leather, 16 way power adjustable front seats with massage soft closed doors and AKG audio system. I guess that's a dope audio system. And 36 speakers. It also comes standard with the self parking feature, a head up display, and adaptive cruise control. It better for that price. Engine transmission and performance. Cadillac's biggest SUV is powered by either a 6.2 liter V8 engine that makes 420 horsepower. We already read all that. Uh, yeah, and then the option of the six. 10 speed automatic transmission. With the standard with both engines and buyers will be able to choose from rear or all wheel drive setups based on their individual needs. Oh man. So yeah, this is, the, I, I knew the suspension was dope. Fuel economy, fuel economy, rear wheel, rear wheel drive escalates are rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 20 miles per gallon highway, 17 miles per gallon combined. It's not bad. For, it's pretty big SUV, so it's not bad. Adding all wheel drive drops each of those numbers by one miles per gallon. So 16, really, if you got the all wheel drive. You move, you got power to all wheels. So, yeah, your gas is going to drop by one mile per gallon. That's what they're basically saying. But that's still a 16. That's not too bad. I mean, look, this this vehicle is massive. I mean, the new Escalade is massive. I've seen I just seen one in Lake Forest. It was a murdered out. They had theirs murdered out. All black area was murdered out. The whole it was new 2021, all murdered out with the new uh, vertical lights. All the one I just showed y'all. Uh, I was in Lake Forest, coming to Lake Forest, picking up my daughter because she got friend, rich friends in Deerfield and stuff. And I was picking her up coming from Deerfield and um. Yeah, man, coming through Lake Forest, coming back out here to Antioch, man. I seen the all black one murdered out. Yup. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was the one that had the four-wheel drive too, if I'm not mistaken. Interior comfort and cargo. 
as the flagship of the Cadillac line of the 2022 Escalade ups the ante on in-cabin luxury. Fox leather, Fox leather is used in the base luxury trend, but all other trends receive the real deal with platinum model getting soft, soft semi anti aniline highs, leather covered dash and door panels, aluminum speakers, grills, adjustable interior, ambient lighting provide an upscale appearance like the outgoing model. Both a standard and long wheelbase model are offered, the, la the latter of which yielding more leg rolls for third row riders and additional cargo space. Infotainment wise and connectivity. In addition to the extra, this is what my man said, in addition to the uh, extra luxury features in the cabin, Cadillac has completely tricked out the Escalade in the electronics department. The main showpiece is the digital dashboard that is comprised of three curved OLED displays that layer on top of one another to create a cool 38 inches of combined digital real estate. That's impressive. That's a big screen. Gauge cluster while the rest projects the Q infotainment system for the driver and passenger. The collection of the displays is a reminiscent of the Mercedes-Benz GLS. That is Mercedes-Benz technology. I was about to say that. Uh, but, you know, that happens in the industry. They borrow from each other. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the Escalade stack setup creates depth and looks less tacked on than the Benz. Don't be stabbing at Benz, Cadillac. Y'all nice, but that's Benz. Come on. I mean, if y'all was to do a car off, y'all best against them, I know who going to win in the end. It's going to be Benz in the end. And Benz ain't even got to hit you with the AMG line they got. You know what I'm saying? The AMG line is a whole nother beast for Ben. So don't even, you know, y'all shit is dope, but it's different levels, kind of like y'all, you know, they're the big, big boy. Y'all big boys, but they much bigger boys. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that. Stop it. Stop writing that, man. Um, I, That's Apple Cart, but it's very nice. It's a 12.6 inch, uh, inch display with streaming compatibility. Of course, our, uh, I'm all fucked up. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto inter, uh, integration, and Wi-Fi hotspots. Yeah, all through it. So it's dope. Uh, audio files will be in for a treat. No matter which Escalade model they choose, Cadillac has partnered with Grammy Award winning audio and air acoustics company AKG to develop the Escalade standard and optional sound system. A 19 speaker, oh, 19 speaker, speaker, Studio sound system is standard on the luxury sport and premium luxury models, but Platinum Trim gets the AK, AKG studio reference system with a whopping 36 speakers. Oh, that bump. That thing bang. You ain't got to do nothing with it. So that's what you're paying for, too. It bang. I mean, the safety, they're going to say it's good warranty. Y'all don't give a fuck about that. It is basically, man, if you got it, buy it. That's what dude's saying. That's enough of that. Hope y'all day been going good. Hope y'all week been going good. If it haven't, man, I hope it's been, I hope it go better. I really do. I hope, I hope it go better. You know what I'm saying? This is the latest mod that came in today. Right here. And this is for heat resistant. This, this right here is special tape. And you put this on components that's inside the engine. Uh, like it says, you can uh, wrap and protect wires, cables, hoses, uh, fuel lines, uh, seams, and more. It reflects up to 80% of heat, up to 850 degrees radiant temps. Uh, lightweight, uh, state-of-the-art air polymer, thin for a minute for uh, minimum clearance, strong adhesive hose in harsh conditions, especially with the storms we have on the planet. Now, this right here is what you get, guys. Okay, go ahead, screenshot it. All right, don't get that. So this came in today. This is gonna be going back there where I got them powerful mufflers at now, and uh, they do get warm, they do get hot, they're breaking in now. Uh, shout out to Velasquez and Sons. I said I take Betsy up there to y'all, so I'll be taking Betsy in my truck out there. Uh, Dustin, shout out to Dustin, man. You know who you is, man. Uh, and um. Uh, yeah, I'll be bringing my truck up this soon. That's 
And so look out for me, man. I'll be bringing my old school truck up there and do have you do some wonders on the exhaust. And man, matter of fact, Dustin, me and you got to talk uh, because, you know, this setup is cool. This setup I, I created and it sounds phenomenal. But, you know, I'm thinking about that Flowmaster. You know, we need to do, think about that. I know y'all did with Flowmaster. And um, I know stilling will be an option too, Dustin. So it's either going to be between stilling or Flowmaster. But I know Flowmaster does a setup for Ultimus too. And I and I definitely know stilling got me on got me on the platform. So, uh, but we need to talk, man. We need to talk. And uh, when you're not so busy uh, doing what you do at the shop, man, we need to talk, bro. We need to talk. Um, but yeah, this is what I'll be putting back there on the actual bumper where the cutout sat for my exhaust, my new custom exhaust tips. So there you go, boys, right there. And ladies, this is what you use. And it's actually nice looking too. You see, it's got that pretty gold. Yeah, I really like that. So that came in today, guys. Bill's looking phenomenal. It's looking phenomenal. It's looking phenomenal. Um um, basically I'll be taking a wrap off this week. Actually, I'll be taking a wrap off this week. I already got a new setup. I'm already pricing wheels. Like, like it's popping. We're about to finish this build guys. I'm excited. And we're about to move on to the next one. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, man, you know, just doing what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Making sure we keep the, uh, keep everything not only in perspective, but we keep the we keep it pushing. We keep it moving forward. But every time we get done with something on that bill, we're pushing the culture forward, bro. And that's what it's about, too, man. Um, but, yeah, man, I've been I I just want to do that live for y'all and let y'all know the Escalade is definitely a good buy. If you buy one now, know you're going to get over sticker price. They're going to tax you. It's just the way it is right now. Um, honestly, I would get an older model. I would go like an old 17, old 18, and you still poking. Um, low miles, um, and you'll get a better deal for the buck. Um, but if you got the bag and you just do whatever you want because it's just like that, you know, you got it. Um, yeah, man, uh, 103000 for the top one for the sport. All wheel drive, the one we talked about, 420 under the hood. And I'm pretty sure you can get that tuned to five if you get it tuned right. And I don't think you really got to do nothing to the exhaust on that escalator. I think it already comes prepared for that type of power. Like the setup, I, for example, like the setup I got on Cherry, like actually the stock inner inner connections of the uh, where the Cadillac converter comes down from my air from my um my intake all the way out to my 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 connection points down down the whole system of the exhaust. They actually them stock components are very they're struggling to keep up with the output. Um, because the vehicle has gained even more power since I took off the old heavy ass uh, stock and um, inserted them K fives on there. They actually gave me probably like I think they gave me like two more horses, and I haven't even put the chip on it yet. So the car is spinning front tires, um, and like I say, the wheels coming off soon too. So the car is gonna be significantly fast, more than quick for what it is. I mean, a little four bang, a little red car is gonna be a little lightning bolt, um, but. I didn't really build it for that, but I'm going to do it just for the culture, just because I can't afford to do it on the bill. And like you say, guys, and like I say, always uh, keep it in perspective. Always. I have bigger responsibilities outside of, of the bill with Cherry, but I am getting it done. We're getting it done. The chip will be in before December, I believe, or by December. It'll be in. It'll be in. We're going to vlog all that snow on the ground or not. Um, I'm trying to look out. I'm trying to get myself a, um, a beater, man. I need the beater so I can start putting Cherry up. Uh, Cherry will be paid off in 11 months, uh, to, to exactly 11 more months of payments, and she's 100% mine, title in hand, because my other vehicle, Old Bessie, is paid off. I got the title, like, like, I'm paying shit off, bro. Like, that's what I've been on, guys, you know what I mean? So um, now I'm back vlogging and getting resettled in this new thing I have going on, you know, to keep everything going and shit. Man, y'all know how it is. Y'all got situations too, but, um, you know, uh, next year is a big year. I know I just, all I know is say 200 on the fucking dash. And all I know is the shit's sick. And all I know is that American motherfucking muscle, boy. Ooh, that motherfucking, I need to, I need to get, see, I got to get back into doing my workouts and all. And that motherfucker used to be way more ripped. You can see it, but it used to be like Mount Olympus type. You know what I'm saying? This just be so much the nigga got to do all the time, man. He be like, man. 
Anyway, I'm not really complaining, but I just be talking to y'all, you know what I'm saying, about shit, you know what I'm saying, just bit to y'all, you know what I'm saying? And like I say, man, um, these wheels and shit, they coming off. I'm looking outside at it from the office, but they dope. But what I got coming on this motherfucker is hard. Matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all a sneak peek what y'all think. I'm going to show y'all what it is. I'm going to show y'all what it is. Yes, sir. Let me see if I can get it. I'm going to show you these, and y'all really going, yeah. Those are torsions, but them hard, too. These are the M267 torsions, platinum bronze. These are the bronze joints. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna see if it fit on my shit. See, this is this is bullshit. I hate that. When you go to a site you want and you can't. But I'm gonna show you these right here. See, it got those, see. These right here are the platinum bronze. What y'all think of these? And platinum bronze on there. And they got 20 by nines too. Nietzsche's got these. You know what I'm saying? It's a little sneak peek, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm thinking about doing some old stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Dumb shit. The bronze crushed is hard too, but the glossy bronze right here is killing them. I showed my brother these. He was like, "Man, them motherfuckers are killing, boy. These some killers right here. Ain't nobody got that, bro. Ain't nobody rocking it like this, bro. With that TOT shit. That's why you should stay with the shine and watch it grow and watch me build this motherfucking merch. Will be coming. I'm working on it now. Like I said, the last lie things happen, so I got a new thing going on." And now it's just, you know, it's what it is. It is coming. Believe me, it's coming. Oh, the merch is coming. Believe that. But check out the wheels, though. This is, I'm trying to, and the next wheel is going to be like, I'm not saying I'm going to do that. But what I'm telling y'all, I'm saying that, hold on, maybe I can pull up a better, a better connect on something. Let's do this. Um, I'm saying to y'all is, this is the, this is the mind frame. You know what I'm saying? Of me. This is the mind frame. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, these rams gonna cost more. They is, but they still gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Now this is Ram Source, so I'm gonna hit you. They got everything. So Ram Source is who I also follow on IG. I think y'all should too. They are the Baltimore Maryland. I don't know if y'all ever been on the East Coast. I've been on the East Coast. I particularly like the East Coast. I rock with dudes on the East Coast. Um, and I also was out there and I was stationed at Aberdeen Proving Grounds in the East Coast, um, right by Baltimore. Right, and they call it B-more. That's the name they name they see. They call it B-more. So shout out to B-more, man. But you gotta be careful though. B-more and grimy as hell, boy. Don't come up missing out there if you're not wrong. You gotta keep your head right. But shout out to them. But this is who I fuck with on IG, guys. And they carry Asante's. They carry, um, who this? Oh, Road Force, Luxury, uh, Forgiados, of course, like everybody, Lexani's, uh, Fuel for the uh, trucks, Savini's. 
Y'all ain't heard, y'all know what Savini is? Y'all need to go check out Savini's S A V I N I Savini's. Uh, status, they got status there, they got velocity. Uh, Nietzsche's Nietzsche's is what we about to fuck with. Uh, they got uh, I ain't even checked these motherfuckers out. They call black diamonds. This all 2021, 2022. So many people are like new to new in the industry. We got Giovanna's, Giovanna's are sick. Um, and a company called uh, AXE, AXE Design. So yeah, man, they, they rock with a lot of, they don't have Coley on Forge. So I know y'all probably like Coley on Forge or if y'all want to, um, if y'all looking into Ruchis, I know y'all didn't see Ruchis on there too, but I do know for a fact, Rim stores can get Ruchis for y'all. And if y'all looking for Coley on Forge out of Texas, because I know, shout out to that boy out there. You know, that, that YouTuber out there, man. You know what I'm saying? That boy, uh, real, real, real to real. But they, uh, Coley on Forge uh, is their main distribu- distribution out of Texas. But I know that they all connect and talk to each other. All the guys in the, in the distribution game. So the guy, the owner, actually, I DM him once in a while. Because I'm thinking about buying my next wheels from him versus extreme customs but extreme customs actually does business with ram source so it's a win-win for tires on time man. it's a win-win for tlt because they fuck with each other you see what i'm saying and i'm ordering for either one so but i just like how ram source i'm just saying i just i did even if i order from extreme custom out of south holland or if i order from my man out there and be more it don't matter because they do business with each other but i'm saying i like I like, I like, I like, he just got, he just got, he just got the right shit, man. Um, but Nietzsche's is what we're going to pull up here. So they got the cast and they also got Forge. So we're going to do a cast. We don't want to go super fly because it's a Nissan Altima. Now the next car, man, is, is, is gonna, it's a proper sports car. It's 200 on the desk, all American muscle. It's a Hellcat eater, man. A stock Hellcat. Now, I know them even old parts. It ain't going to be no red. It ain't going to be no demon. It no, it ain't going to be no super stock either. Because that's really my favorite out of all of them. I'd rather have a super stock. That motherfucker is badass. All right. So these are called the Ascaris, right? Now, they in concave. These are called the Ascaris in 167. Check these out. Them is sick on. on Ooh, boy on cherry. Them is sick on cherry bomb, boy. These are bronze, polished bronze. Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody doing this type of shit, bro. Um, those are more on the darker end. I don't think they'd be right. I'm not gonna show you what I'm end up might want, but I'm just showing you like little shits. Like this is Nietzsche, man. This is all the new shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, I'm not even going to show you these because I don't even want y'all biting. But these might go on there. And they are Nietzsche's. And they are the, hold on, because some of y'all be biting big bites. Oh, they are the M265s, but you're not going to be seeing those, bro. That's because I'm actually might get those. Those are sick as fuck. But Nietzsche, man, is just like, they've been doing shit for years. They actually was hot in the 90s, but. I'm going to rock Nietzsche's on my shit because everybody rocking for it. If you go out in the streets, no matter where you at, out in the Chicago, urban land, suburban area, it, it don't matter. Wherever you at, if you're in the surrounding suburbs or in the city, man, or if you're up north in the surrounding suburbs or in Milltown, you're going to see everybody on Forges or they're going to be in like Ruchis or you're going to see Coleon Forge. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. All of them is hot. But I'm rolling up to the shit. I'm rolling up to the place to be in on Nietzsche, sitting on Nietzsche's. And I guarantee you, Motherfuckers gonna be looking at Cherry like, man, them wheels is, man. And they gonna like the build too, because my rap, I'm about to upgrade my rap, guys. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm taking the old one off this week. Um, but yeah, them Nietzsche's, man, has been hot for a while. But now they got the whole new line. This is all new shit, man. This is all 2022. The shit I'm scrolling through is all 2021. It's 2021 mixed in with next year, 2022. So Nietzsche ain't playing no game. So this is another one. This is the pre, pre, Premio, P-R-E-M-I-O. Y'all know everything. Y'all can correct me. So these are hard, too. These are bronze. Them is sick. 
Them hard right there. Nobody in Lake County got the. I ain't seen nobody with them. Ain't nobody rocking those. I ain't seen nobody rocking those. So, and I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm a car dude, so I see a lot. I meet a lot of people and see them and, you know, ain't nobody got those. These are stupid. Now, these are called, I'm going to show you these, and I don't think they fit, but they are fucking sick. They're called, now, this is polished bronze, and they're called the torsions. This is polished, but it's fucking sick. And then it has the Nietzsche uh, center cap to say Nietzsche on it. It's also color matched. If you look, you see the you see the center cap there, yeah. And that say Nietzsche too. You see that Nietzsche? Look at the spokes, how they did it. That's called polished bronze. That is pretty. That's gorgeous, bro. And look how to see how the ends are cut. See that how they like they spike out at the tip of the rim. See how they did that? That is sick, bro. So these they got these. So these right here are twenty point. Point nines. They have them in the right size, but they, you know, the boat size has to fit. Not all these may fit, so because I'm really hoping the one I want does. <clears throat> so here's a Vaso. Uh, this is a bronze wheel. Um, so I'm thinking about bronze, obviously bronze, man. Bronze is just just sick, man. So this is a Vaso. <laughs> So right here is a vessel. So it's bronze. It's more of a. It's more of a gloss. It's more of a gloss. Okay. So that's more of a gloss. If you guys can let me get my, make sure y'all can see that. Yeah, that's a gloss. Twenty by nine. They also have twenty by nine. So yeah, they got my size, man. So yeah, we, 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 we thinking about something else now. You know. Then they got the forged, uh, three piece. Now these are fucking stupid. These are called Enyos. And I ain't seen nobody with these, man. These are so sick, bro. Uh, they're called Brush Gloss Transparent Copper. Nietzsche Forge Wheels. 100% custom made. And they made in the USA, too. These are beautiful. Ain't nobody rocking that, bro. Ain't nobody doing it. They not doing it like that. I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't seen nobody in the city with these in Chicago. Maybe in Milltown, but not in the shop. Not with this setup. And I'll be the first one to rock it. First one. Stupid. Should it be dumb out there, man? Flicking. And those are hard. Now, I don't know if they're fit, but those are called the Anios. Those are sick. Now, these are the Fords, so these are more expensive, right? They're three-piece setups. Fords is three-piece. So these are more expensive. See, they got a shit called Methos. This is cool. If you had like a Honda uh, Civic and you wanted to trick it out, if you had like a green one, see what I mean? They doing all type of shit. Got the concave. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just different, bro. I like it. It's different. Um, let me see. Those are dumb. Those are cool, but they went up. These are fucking stupid. These are called the Sectors. <laughs> they're um candy dark can't they're um 20 they come in 20 by 12 candy dark copper candy dark copper and damn they made it candy damn that's crazy look at this shit look at that candy dark copper is what they call it so they candied copper i didn't even know they can do that look at that I love I love the future. I love the technology in the future is what I'm saying. I love the car culture in the future. Uh, the things they're doing with the technology is amazing. Uh, this technology didn't exist in the 80s and 90s, and now they're able to do it. This is all the stuff we used to be around talking about, like the ambient lighting, cars got the ghost light. We used to talk about that all the time. And now they, now they have guys in the industry making that happen. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Candy. Dark copper. Now this ain't bronze. This is copper. It's candy copper. Um, shit. Those are dumb right there. Look at these again, bro. That's candy dark car. Uh, candy dark copper. That's copper. That's not bronze. 
Those would be sick on Cherry, dude. Now, these come 20, 20 by 12. So, they, they, they're they almost up there at 21s. But, you know, you can't fit 22s. I don't know. If, I don't know, though. Deep concave with elevated spokes. Yeah, they sick, bro. It's fucking sick, bro. So, just giving y'all a little insight. They got the stuff guards. They got some dope shit, man. I'm going to give you another one. These are called the uh, Vince, Vincenzas. These are the Vincenzas. These flicking too. Um, Monaco, let me see. Brushwood, Monaco copper tint. So this is a copper tint. It ain't the candy, but it's a copper tint. And that's still hard, though. That's hard with the concave. It's the concave is what's popping. Um, yeah, the Vulcans. Look at the Vulcans. These are called the Vulcans. Trans copper, the two. Shit, sick, man. Look at these, man. Man, I'm just chopping. I'm crazy. Because, you know, I'm thinking about copper. You know? Because I got a cherry. Cherry and copper is beautiful together. It's not gold, but that, that copper... Or the bronze. The bronze will look good, too. But I couldn't go with a dark bronze. They got a lot of dark bronze configurations. It have to be a light a light bronze configuration. But this shit is crazy what they're doing. This is what Nietzsche doing, man. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all, man. <laughs> like, they is not playing. Let me see. So, so we just got, like, everything, man. We just got a lot of things that I touch. Um... 2021 style. Uh, let me see. Wheel options gallery. Wheels. You know, we just we just got a lot of shit, man. Configurations. Wheel collection for uh, cast. The Ascaris, these are the gloss black. Let me show y'all this. Now, we're 52 minutes in. I get all deep with it, guys. I'm sorry. But these are the, the gloss black. These hard. These hard. These are Ascaris. they under Nietzsche. they Nietzsche's, but they call it the Ascari line. Those are sick. Now, I wouldn't do that. I think I want a gloss black all the way. Down. I don't want that machine face. Even though it looks good, but you know, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's brush, gloss black with brush face, compatible with BMW bins, caps, and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so yeah, y'all can get an idea of what I'm, what I'm leaning towards here. Yeah. These are the gammas. Now, I'm not saying I'm a good, but the gammas are dope. <clears throat> these called gammas, like, like gamma. Like gamma rays and shit like that, like this. These called gammas. Now them hard, them poking right there. Nietzsche's, of course. These bronze, those will look good on cherry. About the only ones I can see with the right hue of tangible bronze that will look hit with that cherry paint. It'll be different, but I'm 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 really going towards that copper though. That copper, that candy copper. Man, that shit is. Woo, boy. Well, like I say, guys, you know what I'm saying? We just we just doing what we doing. Cause that's what we do. We TOT, baby. What big say, baby, baby. Now, these are the torsions, M267s. Now these are slick. These are torsions. They're on um, platinum bronze, okay? So you can see when I showed y'all real quick, my riders, the, the candy, and then now I'm showing you the platinum. Now this is the platinum. This is a bronze. Now the, now the candy copper is nasty, but this platinum bronze is, is dummy too. That's a platinum bronze. And you see, that's the one that got the, with the tips, the rim poke out on the rim, and it's concave. It's sick. Stupid. Ain't nobody rocking these. Ain't nobody rocking these, man. I don't know why. So a lot of these dudes out here got badass cars. I ain't gonna front. But they rim selection is weak, though. I ain't really seen too many of them with dope wheels. They cars be hard, though. They will select should be weak. It don't be popping. But 
you know, I'm just saying this shit that we gonna put on, so y'all get the y'all get the full understanding, man. I'm, you know, this shit's gonna be it's definitely gonna be um, another level <laughs> than what I'm already running right now. And I might just raffle them all to you guys. I may sell them. I don't know, but uh, you know, you get the idea, guys. Look, man, we 55 minutes in. You know, I get to rambling and talking, man, and chopping it up with y'all. Y'all know how I love y'all, man. And just, man, just rocking with y'all. And uh, talking about the nice whips and the cars and the culture. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Um, To my man, Tommy, man, keep your head up, man. Love you, man. It's all good. Suck, you know, always stay sucker free, man. Always, man. Um, It's always real this way, man. And, um. Uh, all oh, y'all stay sucker free, man. Try to just uh just build what you build, man. Don't let nobody destroy, man. Stuff, man. I'll talk to y'all again, man. All right, peace, all that.